it's hard, but good. Yeah. Much better after a win. It looked like you were uh, biting down on that pretty good. Like it was, it like it was uh, it's uh, the not so funny bone. Um, just got a puck there. I'm fine. What about Drake? Could you let me update? No, he uh, on his breakaway got twisted up and um, lower body injury is what I've been told. And uh, we'll see how he is in the morning. In terms of trying to sort out special teams before the regular season, and view that as a pretty positive step forward. Yeah, it was better. We we were able to use a power play unit or two that will be together for the first time. Uh, we spent a lot of time working on that, so it was good to see them get a couple. Uh, the penalty still get, still got tested a lot tonight. Uh, we scrambled around. I think there's a an area of improvement that has to happen in that in that special teams. But uh, to get a couple shorties is nice as well. Well, you know what? The best players in the league penalty kill now. Um, and you look at every team, Jonathan Taves kills, Sidney Crosby, Ryan Getzlav's killing, um, Joe Pavelski kills. So there's risk in it, but um, that's what you have in this game. So Connor's going to kill this year, Nuge will kill, Benny Pouliot's going to kill. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll take it as it comes. Do they have any different marching orders in terms of getting in front of shots? Like, does, does Connor need to be cognizant of that at all, given his value offensively? Well, I bet you Connor will be the first one to tell you that if he's out there, he wants to play the right way, and your captain needs to do that. So uh, am I pulling him aside and saying, hey, don't ever get in the shooting lane? No. He's going to have to play, and he's going to have to play hard in every situation. Uh, that's what you do when you lead, and um, everybody else has to follow. And, um, you know, is it, a, is it a perfect scenario where you play injury-free? No, but that's, that's the game. I thought Pooh's been getting better throughout camp. I was disappointed in him early, and he's got better as uh, as camp has gone on. He's got uh, some regular line mates now, and and uh, he was really engaged in the game tonight. I think because of all his penalty killing minutes, uh, but he's a value, very valuable player to our team when he's really going. I'm sorry. Very good game for Gus. Um, you know, he made, it was sporadic. He had to make some real good saves, and then it, it went away from him for a while, and then penalty kill, and, uh, but uh, a good night for him. Strange night for him, too, with the skate. No, he had to, you know, I've seen players, skaters, lose their blade, but never a goalie. And, and then to have to, uh, to change and put new skates on and get the pads back on, it's not an easy thing. So uh, Tyler Pitlick, somebody who's been pushing for a job, Another solid game, but use him a lot on the penalty kill, and if he's going to make this team, that's obviously a role he's going to have to play. Definitely. Um, thought Tyler played in straight lines. He was physical again tonight. Um, you know, obviously a goal is is a feather in his cap, but uh, the penalty kill part of it, I think he'll get more accustomed to uh, the way we want to do it and be able to read off uh, maybe a common penalty kill partner, which he doesn't have right now, but uh, he's just been getting better and better. He's doing everything he can to make the team. You talked the other day about Nail needing to find some line mates, some guys, and find some chemistry together. What have you thought of his last two games? With a yeah, Yak, he's got better the last two games. I think he's been dangerous. He's been responsible over, all over the rink. You know, unfortunately, with Drake going down uh, midway through the game, there goes Yak's common line mates again, and it was a scramble after that. But, um, you know, he's a very talented player that, that has a tremendous amount of skill, and uh, when he does find those line mates and – and gets going, we'll, be, uh, we'll have a real good player. Just back to Connor, obviously he didn't miss a beat, but he had the CLS jersey and going out there and just playing. No, I didn't expect him to. Uh, we talked about him staying inside his skin and not changing who he was just because he had a, a C on his jersey. Um, did a very good job tonight. That whole line was, was dangerous. Didn't play much in the third period, but they were uh, dangerous in the first two. So you call yourself a I'm sorry? No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. You don't ask me tomorrow. First question, are you? Okay. Yes, I said Harvey. You've seen him now for a few games. What are you seeing progression-wise or maybe stagnant? Getting more aggressive in the game, around the puck more. Um, when it's on his tape, he has more of an attacking mentality rather than kind of playing with it and seeing what would happen. He's getting some shots off, um, feeling more and more comfortable. Um, you know, he may be a guy that plays... Uh, a better game when it's more organized, um, if that makes any sense. Uh, as as lineups get more solidified, the game is a little more organized. There's more structure in it. He may he may even be a better player in that situation. 